Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your weekly rune elemental reading for July 21st through the 27th, 2024. And today, according to my calendar, uh, which is a really nice one, it has a bunch of the zodiac astrology information, I'm trying to learn more about it. Uh, tonight is the full moon, so if you're watching this today, uh, pay attention for your dreams because the moon tends to be a little more intense with those. Otherwise, we're going to hop in. I read intuitively. I'll read through the little footnotes in the uh, book, but then we'll go with what source brings in to, as a guidance. Um, if you don't know what your elemental alignment is, there is a natal interpretation chart called the Merlin Report down below. It's uh, not a sponsored or anything, but it's a really good um, zodiac astrology chart, and it gives you your birth chart. When you were born, what was going on in celestially, and then it gives 10 to 20 pages of really good information about you as a person and as a spirit. <laughs> and there, it's amazingly accurate. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out down below. Uh, with that, we'll get started with the first element in the zodiac cycle, which is fire. And fire covers Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So we'll hop over here and check out what fire's got going on. Fire's first rune is, turn the page, the Iwas rune, which is the horse. Color is white, tarot association is lovers, astrology is Gemini. So fire, you've got the twins of the air element coming in to help you. With the lovers, you also have a little bit of water fire combo going on. Uh, travel and change such as a new job or new home, spiritual journeys and movement. This rune indicates things are shifting. Could be a physical shift, could be a physical change, but it's also talking about there's times when you, if you've been lucky enough to have horses or be around them, there's times where you just want to do. It doesn't mean you're going anywhere specific. You just want to go on a journey for a minute. And that's what the energy is coming up is this week is kind of about getting out of the norm, breaking some patterns, doing something just for the thrill of doing it. So your second rune is, where'd we go? Our second rune is Burkana. So it's birth. So there's some change that's coming, but it's coming in in a way that you kind of want it to. Color is dark green. Tarot association is the Empress. Astrology is Virgo. So we're still tying into a little bit of all elements this week, Fire. And with this one, we have a renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, and home. Fire, you have a very interesting week coming up. You're incorporating all of the elements. So you have got a lot going on between these two runes. The this oops this rune here you're dealing with air a little bit of water coming in with the lovers card you being fire and then burkana being virgo bringing in earth so you've got a good combination of energy this week meaning it should be pretty balanced which is <laughs> always a good thing and with that you've got uh, some new options coming forward the um iwas rune is saying do something for the thrill of it. Do something just because. It doesn't have to have a destination. This week, they're not saying make your plans and set your intentions. What I'm getting is do something just because. Something that you enjoy. If you enjoy going and sitting by the stream, splashing your feet in the creek, take the kids, the dog, do that. There doesn't have to be a purpose for it. But they're really saying just enjoy this week because there's some seeds of new beginning coming in with Burkana. And so it's a good time to just enjoy where you're at because what I'm hearing is right now, fire's in a good place. Fire's done a lot of work. Fire's been going through the uh, growth periods and it's time just to enjoy themselves for a minute. They're saying that this is not a long-term thing, but this week, take the time to enjoy just existing, enjoying life as it is. So let's hop over to our Earth Fam, click button. Earth family, and Earth is 
Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Earth, your first rune is the Algae's rune, which is protection. Not a bad thing. Color is gold. Tarot association is the moon. Astrology is cancer. So you're working with some water energy, which is your, it's a buddy for you. It's good, good energy. Uh, signifies protection from danger, resisting temptation, new beginnings are possible. It'll be interesting to see what your second rune is, Earth, because this one is saying it's time for you to feel comfortable. Not comfortable in the fact of not trying to grow, but comfortable in you don't really have to worry about a fight at the moment This from this rune. And you've got the moon and cancer coming in as well, meaning this is something that's more of something that's been sitting in the back of your mind, something that's been bugging you, worrying you, you're not really sure how to handle it, but what they're saying right now is don't worry so much about the thing that's been sitting in the back of your mind, that subconscious concern. It's really not as big or as bad as you originally thought. So your second rune for Earth is the Ensus rune, which is ancestral and the god Odin. This is his rune. Color is dark blue. Tarot association is death. And astrology is mercury. So you've got some interesting energies coming forward here at Earth. It signifies wisdom and help from someone older. It can mean magic, psychic powers, or initiations. So the thing that you've been worried about, the thing that you have felt that you needed protection from, in reality is not going to be that big of a deal. With Mercury, what's coming is going to be quick. It's going to move fast. And with tarot being death, it means that the things that have been in the way, the things that you've been worried about, the things that you have been stressing over are done. The death card is calling out. This is time for things to be sorted. It's time for things to be let go. This week is really about looking for that advisor. And it might be someone you already know. It could be someone who's just popped in and they've been giving you subtle hints about information that you're like, why would you say that? Because it's the, it's kind of what you need to hear. And it's because it's time to release the past. It's time to release those worries. They're not helping you at this point, And they could actually, because it's a worry, it gives you something to do without actually going anywhere. It's not benefiting you. And with this energy coming in, it's time for a swift death <laughs> to the worries and concerns. It's time to let it go and move into that safe, protected space. Algae is saying, enough is enough. Why are we worried about this? And and Zeus with ancestral knowledge and the god Odin are saying, the wisdom is there. It might have to come from someone outside of you. But it's going to answer the question that you've been worried or concerned about. It may just not be in the way that you expect. Also, if you are someone who is trying to grow or experience or understand their more metaphysical parts of their life, this is a good week to delve further into that because you might find your answers buried within that meditation you've been putting off. So we'll hop over to our air family here. Air covers Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So Air Fam, your first rune is the Gibo rune. Yay! It's the Blessings and Generosity rune. Color of deep blue, tarot association is the Lovers. And astrology is Pisces. So Air, this is really tapping into your emotions this week. Uh, it's a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships deepening. So Air, if you've been maybe not fighting or struggling but just kind of like <sighs> with your partner <laughs> this is a good week to think back to the thing that sparked the fire think back to the thing that really attracted you to that person and remember that and make that your dominant focus they're also saying that this is a good time if you are single as an heir to maybe do some explorations maybe go out with some friends just do something, let your hair down, have some fun. With the 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 <laughs> blessings and generosity, this basically is saying that the universe is shining a light on you. You're kind of standing out in your own little world, and that's a good thing. That also is saying that if you are generous with your time and your energy, and that can be manifested in a lot of different ways, it's not just about money, 
that is going to reciprocate back to you this week especially and it you know based on which law you want to read it could be uh, 3 7 13 or 10 times amplified what you put out so this week it's definitely a good time to understand the blessings you have and be a little little generous with time or energy this week so your second rune is Uraz which is part of the Elder Futhark, so this is an ancient rune. It is color of dark green. Tarot Association is the High Priestess. Astrology is Taurus, so air you're working with a little bit of your contrarian energy this week, because that's Earth. Uh, creative power, wisdom, knowledge, standing for good fortune, opportunity, and a little bit of amorous energy coming in there as well, because Taurus is really about the home and building stability, so you've got that going on too. With these two runes coming in together, you are really being called into a get out of get out and be get out and shine because with gibo it's about generosity and blessings your own blessings and helping others as well with um, uraz it's talking about being connected to the divine the high priestess tarot card is being so open and connected into the divine that they can talk maybe through images, dreams, impressions, but however, they're communicating directly with you at that point. So this week, there's a lot of blessings coming in. There's a little bit of creativity that's popping forward as well. And if you're in a relationship, they're really wanting me to focus on this. If you're in a relationship, date night, do something special, connect with your partner and see where things go. Could be a little bit of an adventure this week for our air family. Um, and if you're single, have some fun, relax. Understand that the divine is going to be with you and connecting to you this week. And it might be in ways you're not normally used to, but that's okay. So uh, let's take a peek at our water family, the last of our little cycle here. And water covers the zodiac of Cancer, Scorpio, and the Pisces, the little fishies. So we're going to start off with... Our first rune for water, which is Ihawaz, which is a little bit different than the last one. Um, it is the yew tree, color of dark blue. Tarot association is the hanged man. And astrology is Scorpio. So we're working strictly with water energy This with this rune. Its protection time uh, signifies a time of death and rebirth, foresight, and perseverance. Water, this sounds a little intense this week. Um... <laughs> When you have the hanged man coming in, it basically is saying you have this beautiful snow globe. Everything's nice and level. Nothing's going on. And then you turn it upside down, shake it really fast, and then stand it back up. And everything's doing this. Well, that's kind of the energy that's coming up. Is like, This week is may not be the most calm for our water family. With Scorpio, there could be a little bit of hostility. That scorpion sting is coming forward. And there's some things that need to be dealt with. They're saying that this is a time to deal with a thing, let it go, basically, at death. It needs to find its death pattern. And that allows you to be reborn into something different, better, stronger. They're not, we'll see what your next rune is, but right now they're not saying what that is going to be or what direction that could take. But they're saying you've been in a holding pattern, water. Um, hopefully this is resonating. You've been in a holding pattern, and it's a holding pattern that you have established. It's so not someone else has done this. It's been basically, I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just going to sit here and paddle. They're saying enough's enough. <laughs> We're about to stir the pond. Get moving. So let's see what your second rune is. And that is the Hagalaz rune. Hail, uh, color of light blue. Tarot association is the world, so that's not a bad thing. Astrology is Aquarius, so we're tapping into our air brethren that actually supports water. Uh, signifies unexpected setbacks or problems, attempts to just let things flow, possible disruptive natural event. Water, <laughs> hold on to your boots. Uh, this week could be a little bit intense. Things are going to change. It's basically saying they have to change at this point, but it's not going to be stuff that you didn't know was coming. And with attempts to let things flow, you've been doing that. There's been a holding pattern that you've been in, and the Hagalaz rune tends to show up when 
things are changing abruptly. There are things that you subconsciously knew needed to happen. But in the physical world, you've kind of dug your heels in like, no, that, no, no, we're good. We, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to bob in the water. I'm just going to bob in the water. And the Hogloss is like, uh-uh, nope, you're not doing that. So between these two runes, look at things from a different perspective. It may feel like you're being attacked with the Hogalaz rune. But in reality, it's the hanged man coming in saying, you need to shake up your snow globe. You need to look at things from the different perspective because when you do that, you're able to see that maybe where you at wasn't the best option. But now that things are kind of stirred up, you can start to see a better path or at least see your options. So water might be a little rough this week. Um, stay as grounded as you can. Stay focused on connecting to source. Um, and right now with the moon being full, water is going to be a little bit more uh, sensitive than normal. So just be aware of that water. <laughs> and let's see, does anything else coming in? Basically, this week is all about living in the moment, enjoying life for what it is. There might be some chaos. There might be some new beginnings. There might be some uh, <laughs> romps in the hay. This week is about just enjoying things as they are. Things may have to change. That's fine. But you still could enjoy the moment. Even you might be in, you might even enjoy the changes. That's cool too. But this week is really, that's what they're wanting to bring forward is just enjoy things as they are now. You've done some work. There's some things in motion. Enjoy the process and enjoy life this week. An interesting way to end it, but we'll <laughs> go with that. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy this type of content. And comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. And I will talk to you guys in a future video.